there. Hey. I was looking for you. Uh, I figured you'd know yeah. where to find me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whew, it's cold out. Oh no, it's chilly in here too. I just put the heat on. Oh, nice. But just down low. You're looking for the members only jacket? Yeah, I was just trying to see if anything would jog my memory. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the channel, Earthly Delights. I'm Kelly, and uh, Melissa's in front of me here looking for something that's sold on eBay that we uh, we can't find. Uh, wow, well, hold on. I mean, I haven't looked yet. The issue is it didn't have well, a label. Yeah, so. it didn't have a custom SKU, and uh, everything else does, but uh, for some reason, a members-only jacket is uh, MIA. Today's video, we're going to pull the, what is it, 27 items that sold? Yeah. 27 items. So it's going to be a big video and um, we'll tell you about some of the things we've been, we've been sourcing and, uh, you know, we've been doing some sourcing on Auction Ninja and yard sales and estate sales. I think that's mainly where all of this has come and some, some private picks. So I, I I just don't know. We did some rearranging. We used to have these uh, these racks a little bit different, but they were cutting into the space. And so we've really opened opened it up well, as much as we can with everything that we have. Move this out of the way. Maybe I should put down the camera and help you. It's a novel thought. I wouldn't mind. All right, well, you heard her. All right, I'm gonna put down the camera and uh, well, maybe I'll just uh, actually put the camera down and record. How about that? Oh, excellent. You can see us both searching. Record the humiliation of an imperfect system. I don't like the way it mixes with my chicken wings. Oh, I think this sold. Should I pull things when I oh, see yeah, it? Oh yeah, that pink shirt. And this. Oh yeah, that didn't pink one too. Yeah. Hope that we didn't sell that at the yard sale. I'm like afraid. Maybe it's just gonna be in the last one. Okay. I think I went through. I didn't go through this one. We're gonna pause this, and hopefully, on the other end of this footage. You will see us jumping for joy that we've that we've found it, right? Yes. All right. Yes, we found it. You found it well, in the box that I already looked through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> members only. Nice, nice vintage. Members only jacket. Didn't even sell for that much, so that would have really yeah sucked. That's, that's what happened if yeah. we if we couldn't find it and. Um, you know, when you have to cancel an order because something's been lost, it can, you know, ding you on eBay. So really good that we found it. So how are we doing? Yes. And usually when it's happened, it's always over something really low price. Yeah, so. definitely. All right. I think we're ready to do what sold. We sold 27, 26 items over the weekend. Actually a few more, but a couple haven't paid yet. So I'm going to go through what sold this weekend. Um, Great. very encouraged things are picking up. The holiday shopping season has begun. First thing, um, that I'm going to pull is this La Tigra shirt that sold for $15. We bought it, I think over the summer, we got an estate sale, probably only cost about a dollar or two. This is the old tag. And, um, yeah, so that was a nice nice sale it's had a lot of watchers I've sent a lot of offers but someone came in and bought it full price um, next up is a department 56 actually two of them sold only one of them has been paid for so far so I'm just gonna pull them both out oh I think it might be the one up there yep this is the police precinct um, it sold for $52. We got this at a private pick for 
I think uh, okay. five or ten dollars. Probably probably closer to ten. Yeah, because it's a big piece. So that that was a nice sale. This hoodie has been in our store for a long, long time. Not really a good buy. I think we got it for $6 at the Goodwill a while yeah. back. It's a cool tie-dye. Sold it for 7 so we're about to break even. <laughs> right. But, you know, at least it's not a loss. Right, with eBay fees where we will yeah. break even. Yeah. Some things just aren't, aren't for the win. Yep. You remember where we got the Charlie Brown t-shirt that I'm about to pull. Do you? We got it at the Goodwill for yeah. $3.99. $3.99. And it sold for $12. This is a vintage peanuts, good grief. Mm-hmm. This um we just picked this up this weekend at a tag sale that we stumbled across. Didn't even have it planned, yeah. but... This is all anthropology clothing. Yeah. The woman was clearing everything out. We got this all for $2 each. Yep, $2 each, except that <clears throat> dress on top was 10 but I think it was originally, you know, it was over 100 bucks. So. She said 180 she paid for it. Yeah, yeah. Anthropology stuff is yeah. expensive. So this was $2. Yeah. It took a best offer of 22 Mm-hmm. It's a nice one. Yeah. Luckily... The person we bought it from, this was her personal clothing that she was moving on, was tiny, or else I would have kept a lot of it, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, so... Yeah. We there. actually didn't do a video for that yard sale because we weren't... plant. We were doing something else, ran, ran into it, and uh, actually we're going to do an upcoming video of something really exciting that we found at her yard sale, and we actually oh, yeah. missed it, and was getting ready to leave and she said wait a minute did you see these yeah and we were like no we didn't they were like on the ground in the corner and but that's she... a story for another day it's... right I, that's all I, that's all i was gonna say yeah yeah um i think did we get this from her as well we did yeah yeah kelly listed Seriously, it yeah sold right away uh this was nine dollars free shipping so you know, not not a great sale, but not bad. I think yeah, we, we paid, paid a dollar. We for paid it. a dollar. I knew it would sell right away. So, you know, yeah, things that true. are going to make us under fifteen dollars that I know will sell right away, I'll buy. Yeah, that's easy to list. Yep. This next shirt um, came from that private pick where we got all the glass and vintage T-shirts, so we probably paid about a buck for it. Um, this is a cool double-sided single stitch. You had like diving shirt. Yeah. It's cool. It sold for 24 And we paid a dollar for each thing. Mm -hmm. You said that already? Mm-hmm. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> oh, these next little cuties came from an estate sale that I did. Actually, I did a video for it. Um, I did the estate sale on my own. Um, probably paid like $4 maybe for the pair. They sold for 35 now, do they have a maker's mark on them? Yeah, these, well, yeah, they do. Okay, can they we show do. that? Yeah. Actually. Can you... They're Clintus Santas. Okay, can you Sweden. flip it the other way? It's upside down. Oh. Cool. They're so cute. Yeah. Clintus Santas from mm -hmm. Sweden. And how much did you pay for those? Probably $4 maybe for the pair, and they sold for 35 Great. Put them with their... <laughs> Christmas Village. Next up, we've got a lot of 11 vintage Christmas ornaments. Here's a... A lot of them are shiny bright. They're so yeah. nice. Glass. Now, that's mercury glass? Yeah, I believe so. Yep. And uh, we got those at an estate sale. Well, actually, it was at a private pick. Um, they they were going to be having an estate sale, but we got in there ahead of time. And um, they said they had a lot of vintage Christmas stuff. And so we got a ton of ornaments. They were all loose, so mm -hmm. it was challenging to list everything. Yeah. They and did a nice job lotting them up. Yeah, I lotted them up. You know, we probably paid just a couple of dollars for that. 
Yeah, and they sold for 34. Yep. Another of the vintage t-shirts that we got from the glass people um, just sold. This single stitch yuppie guppies. So again, we paid, you know, maybe a dollar for it. And it's, I took a best offer of 17. Oh, wow. I'm just gonna, I don't want to pull everything out. Um, because, oh, maybe I should. It's just too cute. Um, wow, I can hardly wait. Yeah, this, actually, this also came from an estate sale that, um, that I went to on my own. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not going to pull the whole thing out because it's it's neatly packed and preserved. I'll put I'll put the listing. Yeah, up. this was um, a vintage '50s homemade tiger uh, Halloween costume for a child, and I bought it for either ten or fifteen dollars. I can't remember, and it sold. Accepted a best offer of sixty happy with that great and it's going to salem massachusetts i know isn't that cool I, so i'm cool. so tempted to ask them to take a picture of whoever ends up wearing that because I, I just i, I want to see what it looks like on but i know i do too it's adorbs yeah it's so cute um this is this is one of your books right or no did we get this in the state it is one of my books yeah i decided to move it on yeah um Hitchcock, right? Truffaut and Hitchcock, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that sold for ten seventy four plus shipping. We, you went through a few days ago and marked like how many, how many items from our store? Um, about a hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty items down, forty percent off. So, mm -hmm. these are just things that have been sitting for a while that we really want to move. Um, and it's working. Yeah, and you, why don't you tell them about what we've been doing uh, with the store every week? Oh yeah, we um, we've been taking some advice from other fellow uh, resellers and YouTubers. Um, Shout out to teacher reseller guy. Yeah, that's who we 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 follow him on Instagram, and he's been doing it and seeing a lot of success. So he was definitely the primary inspiration for this. Yeah, and um, Auction Professor, I think, has also, also brought it up. Um, we've been killing almost our entire store in relisting, or actually sell, selling similar, our entire store once a week. And um, that just really refreshes everything, brings it back up to the top of the queue, and uh, I'm going to keep, yeah. keep doing that. What you do is you end the item, you sell similar, and then you delete the unsold items mm -hmm. um but you know it requires focus you have to kind of stay present and make sure you don't delete it before you re relist it yeah we are seeing sales on yeah. items that ha you know have sat for a little while yeah so, yeah. I, so we're going to continue to do it every week we were killing the store on monday like ending listings and relisting but then we did it on friday this time yeah and i almost feel like well, who knows, really? It's all speculation. Yeah. But it seemed like Friday was a good time to do it. All we know is it's been a busy weekend. A lot of yeah. sales. We listed um, a, a bit on both Saturday and on Sunday. Yeah, we both listed quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, some more Christmas things selling. Oh, why don't you come over here? This is like the newest part of our organizational system. Oh, how exciting. We had gotten these what what do you call these little cabinets well they're for a garage so they're just like metal i don't know yeah metal i don't know cabinets. what to call them i don't know anyway uh we got this a little little while back we actually brought you along i think on video we didn't oh lies <laughs> No, Everything to, just really? seems to feel like it's on video now. Is that right? No, we got it from... This was on top of the Singer Sewing Machine. We, we didn't film? We didn't film that. Oh, okay. That was like a private pick, and oh, there right, was right, a lot right, of family right. stuff going on, right. and we were like, we want to respect their privacy. Yeah. Yeah. So, I've been... I. <laughs> so, we got this a little while back. It's been sitting here at a recent estate sale. I bought... I'm sure I got it for free. These little stickers... 
how convenient they were. It was from like a CD book, like that you would store your CDs in. And oh, it was... that's why you bought that? Yeah. Because I was like, why did you buy this thing? Oh, oh, here, where is it? Where is it? It was like right oh, here. Yeah, it it's oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got it because I, I opened it up. You were so thrifty. Well, I'm like, I'm sure that this was just like junk that they wanted to get rid of. I don't really need this, but it had all these stickers in it. And so you're a genius. So I'm like, great. So these are all labeled 101, 102. What's in the drawer? Tiny books. Tiny books. They probably sold for like nothing. I'm joking. I know what they sold for. No, and they, it was good. For 20. 20 for these two little books. This Christmas goose is um, Kurt Adler, 1985, Kurt Adler, Inc. These Kurt Adler tiny book ornaments are a thing. Mm -hmm. And little gnome facts. It's so cute. It's so cute. And they're ornaments. They have little Can you strings open it? on them. Yeah, that's about... So we bought this for probably not even a dollar, and it sold for 20 plus shipping. Here you go. Here, look inside. Oh, okay. I got it open. Oh, it's so cute. Mm-hmm. It'll look so good on somebody's Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Oh, there's my socks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Still going. All right. Polo. Now I accidentally labeled two boxes D. <laughs> That's all right. It's yeah, it's two D boxes. That's all right. No problem. So it's in one or the other. I don't think it's in that one. I think maybe we'll fix that at some point. Yeah, but not right now. Not right now. Here it is. It's vintage black polo sweater. It's a cotton sweater with the little red polo pony on it. Um, I think it came from an estate sale. Do you remember? It did. It came from uh, an estate sale right by us. Uh-huh. And we, we paid a couple dollars for it. And it sold for 25 So we have, um, we had gotten at a, an estate sale several um, vintage antique photos. So these didn't sell yet, but I'll just show them anyway. This is a little girl with a doll. I love that one. And this is hmm. two girls. One of them is sitting in a little wagon being pulled by a sheep or a ewe. And I had stuffed in between these photos, uh, the one that sold this one because I just, I didn't want it to get bent. And I, so I put it together. Were you able to get that? Yeah. This is so actually cool. a reproduction of an old photo. And it's three cowboys standing on their horses. Yeah, two of them are standing. Oh, two of them uh -huh. are? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. Very cool. So that sold. And I don't think we even paid for it. How much no. did it sell for? Three ninety nine plus shipping. The shipping is more than the actual photo. Another book that sold that we've had listed for a little while. River Road Recipes, Louisiana Cuisine, the textbook of Louisiana Cuisine. We got that at the Goodwill for a dollar. And it sold for eight forty. Okay, great. Plus shipping? Yes. Oh, um, there, this is the lot of eight Christmas ornaments. Mm -hmm. These are already wrapped up. These nicely. are cool. Yeah. Are they shiny bright? Um, it says mercury glass stencil. Yeah, some oh, of them stencil. are shiny bright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just put, I, uh, again, I lotted all the ones up that we bought and just put like things together. Yeah. Um, and, and so we paid just probably a couple dollars for that. And what yeah. did it sell? 35. Okay. We're selling a lot of Christmas ornaments. I will say that they take a little bit of time. Yeah, because you've got to wrap them carefully. Yeah, they take a while to, to take photographs of. You have to take a lot of photos, mm -hmm. which I go back and forth on. I, I think I'm going to start taking less photos so I can speed up my listing, hmm. especially this time of year when we're so busy. Yeah. I just, I want to get things listed. And some of the videos that I watch for just like advice, 
they swear by taking like just a few photos. Really? I mean, making sure that you document any issues with something, of yeah. course. Like, I'm not saying cut corners, but they're like, take three photos. Wow. I always do like at least 10. I know. You hear like, oh, you should do 12 because it'll make your listing more you know, prominent in that category, but I don't really know. I, don't I know think, really I think, does. I think the number of listings in each category is what makes your listing go to the top. We also sold this tea towel. It's a vintage trim a tea sugar cookie recipes. Probably didn't even pay a dollar for it at an estate sale. Yeah. And we sold it for five plus shipping. Another book. Where'd we get this one? We got that in a lot on Auction Ninja, so oh, I don't even think lot. we paid a dollar for it. Okay. And it sold for six fifty. The Ghost of Windy Hill. Plus shipping. This yeah. is the second time we've sold that book. It's yeah. it's a popular book. It sells right away. So I don't really think about like, yeah, we paid under a buck for it. We only made six fifty for it, but I knew it would sell yeah. fast. And mm -hmm. I think it's a really cool book. Yeah. This one sold for six. The Circus of Dr. Lau. Paperback. Where'd you get it? I think we probably got that in an estate sale too. 50 cents. Yeah. And it sold. Yeah. It just said that right. Yeah. Six dollars. And we did sell the grandpa sweatshirt. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. Greatest grandpa. <laughs> this has been sitting for a little while. I thought it would have flown off the shelves, but <laughs> um, this is a vintage. Uh, what tag? Uh, doesn't say. It's made in the USA. Um, World's Greatest Grandpa. Another estate sale find. Yeah. 1987, it says. Um, okay. So we probably paid a buck for it. Worn. Yeah, we probably paid like a dollar for it, and it sold for 15 I Plus shipping. Would, yeah, plus shipping, mm -hmm. of course. I thought it would have gone around Father's Day, but what now? This is a... Um, Sorry, viewers, my back hurts, so I'm like, Ugh! Mm. <laughs> um, This is a um, Kiki's delivery service wallet, mm -hmm. and um, we got it at a yard sale over the summer for... I don't know, five, maybe three or three. five. Yeah, it sold for 15 This is going to take us a couple of hours to, to pack oh, yeah. up. Yeah, especially because we've got... And usually you do pack and ship, but... You're going to help me. I'm going to, I'm going to dive in. Yeah, we're going to do it together so we can get it done. got this this is like a vintage golf vest oh yeah i think it was it was at an estate sale yeah i think so um, we probably paid a buck for it yeah we couldn't have paid much for it it went for 13 it's been sitting for a little while um this next item's also been sitting for a hot minute um this was a really cool estate find estate sale find it's, um, these are actually, that was at the Goodwill. Really? Yeah. Oh, you got these it. are Pyrex. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just hold one of them up. Yeah. The you. glass part is Pyrex. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. Pewter and, and Pyrex glass. They're oil lamps. Yeah. And what did, what did you pay for them? I believe I paid $6 for both of them. Oh, great. And it went for 56. That's great. And they sat for a while. When they we did. relisted the store, they actually sold within a couple of hours of doing the relisting. Yeah. So that was good. And last and not quite, not quite least is a book that sold for $7. Where'd this come from? Uh, oh, was this a donation? No, yes, it was. Yeah, yeah some friends, friends of ours, they were getting rid of a couple boxes of books. And mm -hmm. I said, well, we'll take them. Yeah. And. Um, oh, it sold for seven free shipping. So, you know, 
it's like three or four dollars. Yeah. Boom. If you're watching, thank you, Peter and Melissa. Thank you. And I think, and that's it. Yeah, that really? is it for, that is 26 items. We have three that we're still waiting for payment on. Um, one of them is a little Christmas angel ornament um, for seven seven sixty five. dollars um, The other is another one of these uh, Christmas villages pieces that went for $75 and still waiting on payment for a vintage Carhartt jacket that sold for $30. i am thinking let's go ahead and show them the two things that we bought at that yard sale and how it all unfolded and how we like almost okay. missed it. All right. So they don't have to wait for the next video. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm pretty excited about it. And I'd also like some input from people yeah, if, if anybody knows anything. You know what? Let's turn the tables. Let's turn the tables. I'm going to get behind the camera. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Okay. All right. Kelly's in the what's all. The, the uh, hats are oh. right over here. Okay. Get those shorts out of there. All right. I'm just going to move these. Yeah, let's get this stuff out of here. We were out running some errands and we came across this yard sale and we bought a bunch of stuff. We got the... Um, What's the company name again? Anthropology. Anthropology. Mm -hmm. We got a bunch of anthropology clothing. We got a bunch of books and other things. And we were getting ready to leave. We met these two lovely people and uh, exchanged numbers. Like it was just a fun, fun, uh, mm -hmm. fun pick. And we told them about the YouTube channel and how we resell online. And um, she said, well, if you resell did you see those two things that are in the boxes and they were laying in the grass? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So really cool, cool boxes. Are, yeah. Original boxes from the forties or forties or fifties from, from Lord and Taylor. Yep. Let me show you here. It says Lord and Taylor there. Mm -hmm. And then, so she opens them and look. look at this gorgeous 19, probably 1950s antelope skin. And I guess antelope fur hat. Whoop, sorry. It's beautiful. It is in yeah. perfect condition. It has a little bit of filler in there to hold. There's like a yeah, I'm going to show you the tag. Inside. Here's the Lord and Taylor tag. Yep, Lord and Taylor. Yeah. Made in France. Made in France. And then here is additional information about it. Is that the side? No, I can't read it. But yeah, funny. so it is 2,954 out of 3,117. So it must wow. have been, you know, a small run of hats. Yeah. Um, it says natural antelope skin um, and silk, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, the yeah. inside is silk. I wish you could feel this. It is like, in, it's so, so soft. soft. It Beautiful. is so soft. The box is in great condition. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, I think that it's worth a lot more because it has the hat and the box because mm -hmm. for those people who like want the experience of putting on like a vintage item yes. and a vintage hat, no less, like that ritual of that, yeah. I think that makes this worth a lot more money. Um, and we'll get into what they're worth. Now, this, this box is, is incredible. It's got, you know, a woman wearing a hat here. Yep. And I think, yeah, it's got a woman playing with a ball. <laughs> what? Oh. Huh. Maybe a ballerina? I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's it's just such a cool box. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's in generally really good condition, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Um, this hat is unbelievable. Like, absolutely unbelievable. Look at that. It's mm. cheetah. It's actually real cheetah. Um, now... I have like ethical things about buying like animal made clothes, like skin, but these were already made and yeah. you know, yeah. that's, that's all I'll say there. Um, but this is a beautiful hat. It's in great condition. Wow. It's gorgeous. Let's it's see so the inside. 1950s. It's like so marvelous Miss Maisel. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Lord and Taylor tag in there. It's Lord and Taylor Salon. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. 
So these hats were made for Lord and Taylor. Yeah. They probably, and she said they were maybe not custom made, but I think like custom measured, sized. custom sized. Yeah. 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 And so the other cool thing about this is it has the veil. It's, it's like got this, this netting, this like hair netting mm -hmm. with and the little like little sparklies. Yeah. Yep. 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 It's in, it's in generally good condition. And what else is in there? Yeah. And then the other thing is it's got this little scarf. I'm just going to button it. Very cool. Let me just show you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is that is really gorgeous. Absolutely chic. Very, very, very cool. Very special. Yeah. Annie, who we bought these from, uh, told us the story about where she got them, and it was from her neighbor. Her neighbor was single. She didn't have children. Um, she was older, I believe. I think she was probably I think in her she was 80s. Like in her, yeah. 80s or 90s. And... She got sick and Annie became her caregiver and took care of her until she passed away and gifted her these items. And uh, so that's how she came across them. And then we buy them at the yard sale for $30 each. So we paid 60 bucks for both of them. And Annie and I were talking back and forth about like, what is a fair price for her? What's a fair price for, for us? When we were looking up uh, comp sales, we couldn't find anything like it. And generally, when we were looking together, things were looking in like the 40 to $100 range. So she was like, just give me $60 for them, which I thought was really generous. Yes. Yeah, so we're not sure how much to list these for. The comps are all over the place. We can't find an antelope hat anywhere. We can't find a cheetah hat anywhere. Um, so we are going to, I'm going to hold off on saying how much we're going to list these for, I think for the moment, are you, well, I, I think, you think we need to do a little bit more research and I, so I invite you, our, our viewers, if you have any experience, if you have any knowledge or thoughts yeah. about this, please, yeah. you know, please share that with us in the comments. Um, any yeah. help is greatly appreciated. So that was a really good really good find. I think they're, they're worth a considerable amount of money. But again, I think, I think we need to do more research. And mm -hmm. yeah, if you can, if you can weigh in and um, if you have any experience selling hats like this, or what you think they're worth, uh, we'd love to love to hear in the comments. So should we sign off? Yeah. Should I sign off? Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel and also hitting that like button and turning on notifications so you don't miss a video. Um, we put out a number of videos every week. And uh, yeah, we'll see you for the next one. Bye.